Gilly and her baby Sam accompany Samuel Tarly on a voyage to Old Town. Gilly assures Samuel that the voyage will be over soon and that she can't wait to see Old Town, which the captain has described as the most beautiful town in Westeros. He informs Gilly that the Citadel does not admit women and children within its walls. He decides to take them to his ancestral home of Horn Hill and claim they are his spouse and child. Though Sam does not get on well with his father Randall Tarly, he reassures her that his mother and sister are nice. Despite her unease, she lets Samwell decide what is best for her and her child. After landing in the Reach, Gilly, Samwell, and Sam travel by station coach to Horn Hill. To protect Gilly from his wildling-hating father Randall, Samwell tells his father's retainers that Gilly is a northern woman he had bedded in Moll's town and that Sam is their son. Upon arriving at Horn Hill, they are greeted by Samwell's mother Melissa and sister Talatali who take a liking to Gilly and her baby. Tala offers to lend Gilly one of her dresses. Gilly bathes and changes from her rough, woolen northern dress into a fine southern dress, her polished beauty bewildering the love struck Samwell. She meets Sam's father Randall and brother Dick and Tali at dinner. During the dinner, Randall mocks his son's fighting and hunting skills. Gilly springs to Sam's defense by telling Randall that Samwell had killed a then and a white walker in combat. Instead of hearing her message about Samwell's valor, all Randall hears is that her tale reveals the fact that Gilly is a wildling. Randall berates Samwell for falling to the wiles of a wildling, a choice far worse than the Mull's town whore that he had assumed Gilly to be. Randall's bigoted remarks anger Melissa, who springs to Gilly's defense by telling Randall that he dishonors himself. Melissa and Tala leave the dinner table in protest and ask Gilly to come with them. Randall allows Gilly and her son to stay at Horn Hill. He promises to raise Sam as his grandson but tells Samwell that he must leave at dawn. In their chambers, Sam apologizes to Gilly for not standing up to his father and tells her that he will be leaving at first light. Gilly tells him that he should not be apologizing for his father's actions. Later, Samwell decides to steal the family heirloom, a Valyrian steel sword named Heartsbane, and tells Gilly to pack up their belongings and bring baby Sam. Gilly responds that she has no other belongings to carry save his sister's dress. Samwell responds that it looks better on her. The three then flee into the night. After arriving in Old Town, Sam and Gilly meet a citadel maester. Sam gives him a letter from Lord Commander Snow about Sam becoming a maester for the Night's Watch, but the maester is skeptical about Jon Snow's state, saying that no word was given about Lord Commander Mormont's death from Maester Aemon. The maester states that Sam's situation is, irregular, to which Sam responds, life is irregular. The maester then says that Sam must speak to the archmaester in order to discuss these issues. The maester then allows Sam to use the library, but blocks Gilly and little Sam from entering, who are left behind. 